All right, guys, welcome back to Sequence. We are back with Mike Moustakis for a bat number two. This one's from a little bit later in his career. This is two years ago in the playoffs with Milwaukee. And we have an at bat here in the bottom of the tent. So another extra inning at bat for you against Adam Ottavino. Ottavino. Yes. Ottavino, yeah. Who is nasty. Nasty. Known for throwing a kind of a frisbee slider. He's got the two seam yep. work in there. I've faced him and had a horrible at bat against him. So I know this is not an easy at bat. Let's kind of set this up. I just saw uh, Curtis Granderson in front of you. He hit into a fielder's choice, and now we got Yelly on third. He's at first, Granderson, two outs. So right. all you got to do is touch that outfield grass right here. What are you, what, what are you thinking? Out, find a way to get outfield grass, dude. That's it. Um, I mean, going into that series, you knew um, their bullpen was good. You know, they had they had a bunch of good arms. Ottavino's one of them. Um, and uh, we, we were trying to get – Obviously, this is game. Was it game one or uh, game one of the NBA? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get the uh, the series lead, obviously, and uh, huge, huge moment. Um, and I was just, you know, I was excited to have the opportunity to be in those situations. And I came up, and it's the reason I picked this at bat again because I, I love these these situations. I love being the guy at bat with the game on the line, and um, you know, Ottavino just got that fastball that just runs up and just runs out of the zone. And like, as a, as a hitter, you think two seamer, you think sinker, you know, running fastballs, but not the one that runs up. So, um, throughout this at bat, I just could not get to the, to the baseball, couldn't get on top of it. And I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. It just, it's just as a hitter, it's frustrating when you just keep clipping it, clipping it, clipping it. Yeah, well, he's not like a regular pitcher. He's almost like facing like a submarine guy in the, in the way that he's just different. Like his ball doesn't do things like a regular right-handed pitcher does. Absolutely. And he's trained Absolutely. himself to work on that, so he's prolonged his career by doing Absolutely. it. So this is a kind of a different type of a bat. But, you know, the more and more I think about you, the people get labeled as winners. And guys um, get labeled as, you know, as players who can bring you a championship. And a lot of the times I just kind of laugh at that because it's circumstantial in baseball. Right. But when I think about Absolutely. you, I think about every single team you've gone to, you've elevated that team. Yeah, okay? I appreciate that. You really have. I saw you I saw you obviously do it in Kansas City. You come over to the Brew Crew and you do the same thing. These, I mean, you guys had a good team here, but situations like this, you need a guy that isn't afraid. And you started this out by saying, I chose this at bat because I love moments like this. And that's yeah. the kind of guy that we're going to see in this at bat here. This is a battle at bat. I love this at bat. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, I think everyone's going to be really happy with this. So let's let's start it up. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that too, Trevor. It's, it's true. I wouldn't just say that. I know you're my boy, yeah. but I really wouldn't. I know um, this. I is, know this. Is there any part of you right now when you're, when you're on deck and you're like, I know I'm going to get up right here and I want to hit – I want to hit a fucking homer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But you have to rein and, uh, that in, right? Or, or do you yeah. not? Like, what do you... You kind of... You, you try and take a deep breath, but you know what the moment is, man. You know what it's about. Um, you know you're stepping up. It's, it's, the, it's what you dream of when you're a kid. You know, bases, you know, obviously they're not loaded, but bases loaded, two outs, bottom of the 10th inning, you know, I'm up. Uh, and I hit the walk-off home run, you know? And... It's it's just one of those moments you dream of, and obviously I didn't hit a home run, but um, it's just such a special thing to be a competitor in that such in such a competitive situation. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I guess when you really think about it, there's just not too many people who get put in situations like this. Correct. You know, there's athletes, there's musicians, I guess maybe some actors, whatever it is you're doing, you're performing for this massive audience. And right, right now, I mean, we don't have audio here on these clips, but we'll hear it in post. People are screaming your name. The moose chant is going deep. Yeah. It just gives you that that extra, those extra endorphins just going off, and you got to somehow Absolutely. calm it down. And and, and we're going to see you do it right here. So let's 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 start this off. Yep. Yeah. So you know, going into this at bat, what what Arvino's featuring? You know, it's it's hard, and it's got that frisbee slider. So I'm honestly I'm just up there looking for that first uh, that first fastball that he throws, and I'm trying 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 to get to it and you know trying to win the boys a ball game. I love it. And you know obviously he just got got himself out of a jam or so he thought like 
Um, you yeah, know, he, uh, he wanted to double play on that ball, but they had the shift on. Yeah. And, I mean, the shift, it, it <laughs> takes and it leaves, man. Yeah, I think. yeah. Um, so. <clears throat> a little different here. You got the face guard on. That's super show. Yeah, you got the yeah, face guard. I'm, I, I think those should be mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to watch your setup are, a little bit uh, here. Yeah. And uh, what we talked about in the last video was how yeah. you're very grounded. You don't have a leg kick per se. You like to call it a gather. And even here, Correct. this is uh, you're a little bit older now, a little bit more experienced. You kind of understand your swing even more now. And you're going to see your front foot barely come off the ground as you gather. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's something I've learned over the years is trying to keep my foot as close to the ground as possible. Um, yeah, obviously, that's just personal for me. Um, when I start late kicking, my, my tendency is to get out in front of myself, out in front of my body, and I lose everything. And I, I actually do it a little bit here on this at bat. Um, uh, I kind of get out in front and I keep clipping underneath the baseball. And that was uh, off a guy like him. You just can't do that. It's just, it makes everything impossible. So uh, you, you, you can run it and you, you'll see me just keep clipping it. This first pitch, I think he just gets, he just gets it by me though. Yeah, I mean, you're up there. You're looking for a heater now. That's a little bit different yeah, from last about two. Absolutely. I mean, that's a nasty that. pitch. It's 95. It's running away. It looks like yeah. it's going up. Yeah. But you're on it. Like you're the, on it. The front side fly that flew out a little bit, you know. Like, just, I think that's part of the, uh, you know, the adrenaline, the adrenaline rush that you get. You know, I was excited. I got the pitch I was looking for, and I tried to hit it through the windows out in right field. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, and, so so he he blew a fastball by you, but right. you know you're on it. Like yeah. you, you know you can get to that pitch. So yeah. Now is was there was there a count with him that you remember? Like hey, like um, he gets to this certain count, he's doing this. No, um, I just knew that. Um, you know, I think I think earlier in the season I ended up hitting a slider off of him out for a home run, um, and I know he was. Uh, that's that's kind of his bread and butter is that back foot slider and I I think I ended up getting to it uh, earlier in the year. Yeah, you were one for I'm, one, but before this about you'd face him one time and you'd clip them. I think so. Yeah, and I think. Um, and you know he's have, thinking about that. Yeah, I mean, I, it, one at bat, you know he threw the good slider and I I got to it or uh, whatever it was, but um, you know you see the numbers, you have all that information, and um, so I was going up going up there looking for, looking for that heater. All right, here we go. He comes right back with it. Right. I mean, he, I think that might have been in the exact same place as the first one. And I, I couldn't believe I missed that one. I was like, man, what are you, what's going on? Two strikes I, here. Two strikes here. You just kind of, you didn't get beat, but I mean, yeah, I guess you kind of got beat with those two heaters. Yeah. Is there, and I've seen you do this a lot. Is there any thought right now of like, all right, let me just shoot one in the left. If he's going to yeah. put the ball there, let me just shoot it in the left. Base hit game is over. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the only thing about that is, you know, obviously that's it's easier said than done. Yes, it is. But the, <laughs> in, in a lot of ways, but I, I got pretty good at being able to do that. Um, my thing was I couldn't I couldn't get to that spot um, because he was already beating me. I mean, I was already getting beat. Like, I'm balls already way deep on me. So if I'm trying to let it get a little bit deeper, I'm just going to swing right through it, get underneath it, and you know we're we're out of this thing. So, that's a that's a that's uh, a great my, tidbit. Yeah, my my thought after those first two swings was I need to I need to get on time. I need to get uh I need to get out in front of this thing. It's just getting on top of me. So I'm I my next couple swings or my next uh few mind like thoughts were get out there, get in front of this ball. It's just beating you. There's no way you should have missed those two. So I was like, you know what? Let's get out there, get in yeah. front of it, and see what happens and all the while i mean yeah you you're like i gotta get on time to that fastball but now you're oh two you're like his his wipeout pitch is his back foot slider yeah. so you have to have that yeah. in your mind as well absolutely and let's see what he does yeah now, yeah we're, so we're there's all we're oh two always that slider yeah oh and two and there's always that slider thought um and i was i was just you know what i'm hopefully if he does throw the slider right here uh you know, hopefully it's it's for a ball and I can check up on it and not get mm -hmm. not get banged or it's a hanger and you know I clip him and you know we're celebrating. But um, another fastball 
pretty much in the exact same, same place spot. as the other. Yeah, as the other the other three. So it's you'll see like as this at bat keeps going and keeps going. Um, I'm just not. Oh, hey, you, that's you, a great shot right there. I mean, that's a centimeter away from strike three. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just like it's everything's right there. I'm just yeah, just you're right on it. Much behind it, and I can't get to it. So, um, so that's three in a row. And, Three in a row. Three years in next, a row. I think this next pitch is going to be in the exact same place. Here we go. Yep. There goes Grant. And he got yep. to it. Same pitch yep. again. Let's go back to that because I, 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 I like what you said right there. You, when I said, hey, shoot it to left field, obviously easier said than done. But you're like, well, I was already laid on it. So now I got to focus on kind of catching it a little bit more out in front. Yeah. And. You know, you don't want to think hitting the top of the ball, but you do kind of want to think. Let's let me try to get on top of this ball. Right. Um, Absolutely. But and, and that can that'll my, force you to be out a little little bit more out in front. Yeah, you can kind of see my top hand gets a little bit more over the top of the baseball, just because I was like, you know what, I need, I, I got to get on top of this thing. And what I think that does, we'll watch it again here, which is awesome. Just walk it off. What I think that does is it keeps your posture a little bit higher. So Absolutely. when you're thinking about catching the ball out a little more in front, getting on top of the ball, just keeps your posture up a little higher. And just that little change, that's the difference between what you did the first three pitches and, and this. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Let's, let's see the celebrate with the boys right here. Yeah. Yelly running out to you. And this is yeah. great because you know a lot of these guys. You're really good buzz yeah, yeah. last guys. When you got traded over here, uh, you already had friends on this team, and then you look at, and all these yeah. guys are just loving on you, bro. Big yeah. Mike coming through in the clutch. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of good dudes on that team. Um, I miss those boys. Uh, it was you, you know how it is, man. You, you spend so much time with those guys, and you go through stuff like this. You got me, Bronny, <laughs> there he your is. boy. That's our boy, um, Yelly <laughs> over there. Just a bunch of good dudes, man. It was a lot of fun. I played with a lot of those guys, Lolo and. Um, Kratzy and all those guys. Just a good, fun team that we had, and uh, it was it was just a fun time. And you know, ended up getting to Game Seven and the CS, yeah. and just came up short, man. And in that park, those fans are really, really good, man. Oh, that they got you. Amazing, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I, was Bronny holding think, me right there? What was he doing? No, I threw I threw him in front of it. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> the yeah. human shield. You got it, Bronny. Yep, you take this one, bro. Well, that yeah, is it was, awesome. It was awesome. I, again, I appreciate you coming on uh, two awesome at bats. People are going to love yeah. watching this, uh, getting inside your brain a little bit. And uh, hopefully, we'll have a few more clips this year. Yeah. Come back Some on and point. talk about those. But uh, again, I, I appreciate you coming on, man. No doubt, brother. Thanks for having me. We'll do this again.